Mark Rogers TV in Southern California. Just a few days after USC concluded spring football practice, 20 players could not participate in the spring game due to injury. We know about the scholarship reductions in recent years with the Trojan program, so the roster a bit depleted at this point. USC, of course, coming off a disappointing 7-6 and six campaign. Preseason number one, it got so bad that the Trojans lost to Georgia Tech in the Sun Bowl following the 2012 season and, of course, lose a number of key players, including quarterback Matt Barkley. Let's focus on four players who are incoming freshmen, early enrollees, so they participated in spring practice, and we started quarterback with a highly touted Max Brown. Max Brown comes in to spring practice and at the spring game. Got some limited playing time, 7 of 11. Did throw a touchdown and a pick. He's had his ups and downs during spring practice, but of course he gets into the fray early and gets into the quarterback competition along with Max Wittek, who of course we saw play against Georgia Tech in that Sun Bowl and against Notre Dame the last regular season game for USC when Matt Barkley was injured. Wittek had his ups and downs as well last season, 53% three touchdowns and five picks. Wittek in the spring game, 12 of 27, 145 yards passing, two touchdowns, but also two picks. He looks to be the incumbent, have a head up on uh, Cody Kessler and also Max Brown heading into August, but expect this quarterback battle to go down to the wire. We mentioned Cody Kessler, the true sophomore, who had the most impressive spring game on Saturday, 15 of 22, 242 yards, Three touchdowns passing for Kessler and no interceptions. Sua Cravens, the number one safety in college football as a freshman coming in, rated by all the services as number one, 12th rated overall player by ESPNU, had meniscus surgery on Friday. He will be out four to six weeks, but Cravens should be ready to go in August to vie for a starting job for USC in 2013. The guy that we really want to talk about here is running back Justin Davis. Justin Davis, of course, competing now for the job as a freshman against Silas Red, the incumbent, who had 900 yards rushing and eight touchdowns last year. Davis really made his mark in USC's last interest squad scrimmage when he ran for 117 yards on 16 carries, only at nine yards on five carries in the spring game. But keep in mind, USC could not run the ball, period, against its defensive line either way. Uh, they only totaled negative 13 yards rushing as a team on both sides of the football. So again, uh, Justin Davis, 117 in that final scrimmage. And Lane Kiffin had this to say about Justin Davis. He's so natural, see things really well. Can't imagine having a guy come in for his first month and make this kind of impact. I didn't expect it. So he was the 16th rated quarterback according or running back according to ESPNU coming out of high school. And uh, Justin Davis looks to vie for a starting job or at least some playing time behind Silas Red. And finally, we've got defensive tackle Kenny Bigelow. Again, a highly rated player who was able to uh, enroll early and participate in spring practice. Defensive tackle, third rated according to ESPNU, 21st rated overall player in the country. So we're talking about a blue chip prospect in Kenny Bigelow. Again, the Trojans could not play 20 players in the spring game due to injury. The scholarship reductions are heavy still coming off that 7-6 and six campaign in 2012. So a lot of coaching changes during the offseason. New defensive coordinator Clancy Pendergrass switches from a 4-3 base defense now to a 3-4. And as we mentioned, a lot of coaching shakeup at USC on the coaching staff. And we would imagine another 7-6 and six campaign would mean a huge coaching shakeup, meaning Lane Kiffin. Trojan fans, weigh in on USC 2013. Let us know what you have here on Mark Rogers TV.